Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Karen. I hope you're all having a fantastic week. I have my Aliana hand out here ready for a nail play. We're going to be creating some beautiful black, purple, kind of gothic-y almost inspired nails um, with some glitter. But I thought I would show you guys how I quickly prep my hand. Um, if you want to, you can, you can just scroll on there just to the design if you don't want to watch this bit. It's just very quick. Um, I do use some baby wipes just to give it a little wipe over. I tend to use the fragrance free ones. Um, you can use whatever ones you want, but I just find that this keeps it nice and clean and dust free between uses. So I always like to give it a little wipe down before I begin and usually after as well too. So just helps keep it nice and clean. And then for tips, I use these extra long tips that you can get these from Amazon. I will try and link these down below um, for you guys, for anybody who has a hand like this and wants to use these extra long display tips. They are brilliant because they go right in and sit nice and deep into the well of the finger. So once I have them sized, I just push those straight down in. <clears throat> As you can see, I've sort of got the different sizes out. What I tend to like to do is um, sort of almost pre-size a couple of sets so that anytime I use it, I can just lift a set that's already been pre-sized and I know that they fit the, the fingers so I'm not kind of hunting through different sizes. So. Once I have those kind of in and fitted, as you can see, they are going nowhere. They are there. Um, I get some nail clippers and I just trim them into the shape that I want them. Um, I'm kind of, at this stage, I'm sort of thinking, yeah, I kind of want maybe more of a um, stiletto sort of shape today. So that's why I'm just trimming it to the length that I want. And, um, and then once I have that kind of trimmed into roughly the shape that I want it to be and um, so that I don't spend too much time filing. Um, I use then one of these here. This is the Stalix um, reusable or sorry, disposable files as you can see here. Um, you know, they've got that soft side there so it doesn't nick the actual silicone hand itself. So these are brilliant. And all you have to do is you just pull these off whenever you're done. As you can see, that one's all monkeyed up and you just tear it up throw it away and then slip another one on. This here is just a waxing stick and then you're good to go. See, that's it, done. Then you can file away. And, um, and you know, that kind of underside then doesn't tend to catch on the hand. And then I just buff the nails, ready for gel application and we're good to go. Okay, so now that I've given anyone who's new a little refresher on how I prep my hand for a nail play, I'm just gonna go straight in here now with my Pink Co One Step Gel. This is by Bling Line. It is a beautiful self-leveling gel. And if this was a real client's hand, what I would be doing is putting a, um, a clear sort of platform, if you will, base down first, just sort of something to file down to if, we were wanting a complete change. So I've just put my slip layer down and now I'm just going in with um, sort of more of a foundation layer and I'm just working that down the nail and then once I'm happy with that, we will go in for a cure. Okay, so now I'm working on my apex. As you can see, I've put my bead down and I'm gonna keep sort of a bulk off it around where I want the apex to be. And then I'm just walking that down the nail um, to the free edge, sort of thinning it out to there. I'm gonna be doing the exact same um, on the pinky. So I'm only gonna show you it on this finger because it's exactly the same on the pinky. But this next nail, this is now the middle and the ring finger and I'm gonna be doing exactly the same on these two fingers. I'm mapping out um, what will be my um, extended nail bed and uh, the only reason I'm doing this here is because obviously gel falls gel so it just makes it that little bit easier every tech has their own way of doing things but this is just how I like to do it myself um, so I put that bead down and I just kind of let it do its thing gravity really helps here too so you know if you need to sort of tip the nail down obviously a little bit more just to kind of get that nice pull um you will you know you'll get a really nice smile line that way um so once i'm happy with that then i go in for a cure and then we're just going to go in then with i suppose what you call a cuticle bead and just kind of 
fill in then what we need to to build that um to build that apex up the apex of our extended um extended bed if you will so once i'm happy with that there and i have that all sort of manipulated and into shape again i'm going to go in for a cure and then once we're cured i'm going to wipe that all and get everything filed Okay, so now I'm just removing that tacky layer before I file everything into shape. Get those smile lines nice and crispened and just ready for our artwork and get everything just refined and looking spot on and ready to go. Don't forget to buff as well too because that makes a huge difference. But now that we're ready for the artwork on both the pointer finger and the pinky finger, I'm going to be doing a black and purple ombre. And I start off with the black around the cuticle and I bring it sort of roughly halfway down the nail, maybe just not as, maybe not quite as much as halfway, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it around the cuticle area at the minute because I'm gonna go in with a detailer brush and make that really nice and neat at the end um, so that it looks just perfect, especially working with a dark color in that there. So as you can see, I've got my purple and I'm buttoning it up to the black and uh, yeah I'm just sort of um, I, I make sure that the, obviously that the brush doesn't touch the black but I just kind of like butt the product up if you will and then getting an ombre brush I'm just going to really gently sort of back and forth back and forth and um, all the way down the nail and um, don't go backwards at this step because you could end up sort of like ruining it so just keep on going you can wipe off any excess but it will take a couple of applications before you actually see that ombre really taking shape i'm just going over the exact same steps again but i'm just not going as low with the black this time as you can see i'm kind of button that purple up a bit more so i find that this just works a lot better for the blend and um and yeah so we'll get that all blended in and then it starts to look so much better it can be quite hard blending and um, contrasting colors but i just find that these two just worked really 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 well and i love that blend so same on the pinky finger exactly the same and then once i'm happy with that we're going to go in for a cure Okay, so my next step now is to go around and neaten up that cuticle area because as you've seen before, when I was doing my ombre, I wasn't exactly, um, you know, sort of all that neat around the cuticle. So I knew I was going to be filming it in anyway and I wanted to do that, especially with the dark colour. So this is where my nut mug de detailer brush comes in and my little ring palette. And oh my goodness, if you haven't bought yourself a wee ring palette, you need to pop that on your list um, of must-haves because they are so handy. This one was sent to me as a gift by the lovely Kelly over at Chronically Creative Nails. And uh, it's from Painted and Posted and their stuff is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. They're on Instagram, check them out. This little thing here, so handy to have and I find you use less product because it is a much smaller surface. Don't know, I just put much less on it and that's more than even what I needed. So definitely worth the buy because um, they're really handy to have. Um, so I will cure around out the cuticles there and uh, I'm now moving on to the middle finger and the ring finger which are both going to be exactly the same. This is Ankia. Um, this is a hard gel, bling line hard gel in black and I love this hard gel. I actually use this for detailing a lot too. I just really like the consistency of it but I'm just edging around that extended uh, nail bed there and um, I just kind of want to create that beautiful you know that sort of beautiful sort of shadowy dark effect around it and uh, once I'm happy with that then I'll pop that in for a cure and then we shall move on then to getting some sparkles into this because it's been a while from my view some really beautiful chunky glitters that I wanted to and I think this is what captured me by this set is the the sparkle, you know, the glitters as well. I oh, I just love, love encapsulating glitter in hard gel for me. It almost magnifies it. It is just absolutely beautiful. So anyways, so once I have those done, the glitters I'm going to be using is Sugar Plum and Ethereal. 
love these two and they work so well together so i'm just putting a layer of the cool one step clear down there this is a little pot of cool one step clear that i keep that has some wee sort of like glitter, uh, glitter particles in it because you know this is what happens you know whenever you're sort of working with glitter a lot you tend to sort of contaminate some of your good stuff like your base coat and all the rest of it um it just happens so i tend to keep this wee pot um for glitter work only and as you can see i'm applying that beautiful sugar plum just look how lovely that purple is and how much it catches the light it just works so well with the colors too as well um of the ombre so I really, really, really like this. And then whenever I add the ethereal uh, into as well, the fact that it picks up on just so many beautiful icy tones, it's just, it's so gorgeous. You have to see this in real life. If you haven't got ethereal in your collection, you have to have it because it is a staple no matter what time of year. It is absolutely beautiful. Definitely one to have. So get it on your must have list. Look at that. So sparkly. I love it. And now for encapsulating everything. Again, this is just a bead of the um, clear one step gel, self leveling gel. Really easy to encapsulate. Once I'm happy with that, we're going in for a cure. And then obviously then same as before, once it comes out, I'm just going to remove that inhibition layer and give everything a good file and buff and then we'll get finishing with our top coats. Okay, so following sort of the original picture that I had seen, I'm going to be keeping the pointer and the pinky matte and then going in for the glossy top coat. Look at that glitter coming to life. It's so beautiful. And uh, oh yeah, I just love that. I just love a good top coat cam. So once I have that applied, we'll go in for a cure and then we will see the finished result. And there we go guys, that is the finished look, our kind of sparkly gothic ombre nails I guess. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope that you like the final look. Um, I, I really like them, I would definitely wear this set 100%. Um, I think that the colours are just beautiful. Um, perhaps you're maybe into nails, you know, um, you're not really maybe into the themed Halloween nails, but you kind of like the colours and this would be perfect. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much indeed for watching. Give us a like, subscribe, um, say hello down below and all that good stuff and have a fantastic week ahead. And thank you for joining me once again. Bye.